five from paper two of the 2017 National Five. There we go, three marks, the reverse percentage. You want one of them as well, don't you? Somebody sold, or a theatre group sold, 4,830 tickets. That was more than last year. That was 15% more. What did they sell last year? So it's a reverse percentage. Don't just find 15% and take it off. 15% of this is more than 15% of the original value, which was smaller. No, you just write out what it says. If it's 15% more, it means you've now got 115%. 115% of whatever the number was is 4830. So to get that number, you can either divide by 115 to get 1% and then multiply by 100, or just say that n is going to be, just divide by the decimal equivalent to it, divide by 1.15. And when you press the buttons and you get a nice number, you probably think, well, that must be right. That must be the number of tickets. 4,200. Number six then from paper two of the 2017 National Five, volume question for five marks. As it turns out to be the same volume twice, so there is a shortcut for this, but I'll not do this this time. A, it's a sphere. There's a spherical sweet, which is made up of an inner caramel, it says, and a coating of chocolate, which is three millimetres thick. What's the volume of that coating? Well, it said it was a sphere, and if you don't remember, you just look up the front and you'll get the formula, 4.3 pi r cubed. Now, if I do the outside, one thing to watch is that diameter that was given was for the larger sphere, the outside including the coating. So I'll call that the larger sphere. So that's 4.3 times pi times. So for the larger one, if that's the diameter 24, it is half of that. The radius is 12 cubed. So you just type that in. And you press the button, and it comes up with the pi, and you press the... Well, actually, you could just leave it like that. Two, three, because they didn't ask for any intermediate answers. The advantage of leaving like that is it's completely accurate just now. Maybe I will do that. Round, type, get the decimal if you like, and round it off if you want. I think I'll leave it like that just now. Millimetres cubed. Do the same with the other one. What's the volume of the small one? 4.3 pi... Now this time, the radius of the larger one is 12. If that coating is 3, that 3 just comes off of the radius. So the radius of this inside is going to be 12, take away 3, which is 9. So you type that in. Then you press the button, and I'll just leave my 972 pi here, millimetres cubed. It saves any anguish over rounding off those answers because those answers weren't required. It was just the final one. So now, when it comes to the coating, the coating is going to be the difference between them. It's going to be 2304 pi minus 972 pi millimetres cubed. And of course, you can leave the pi out as a common factor. If you don't trust that, you can just put it in. And that gives you, and now this time I don't want pi there, so I press the button and it comes 4184.60 and so on. And it says, give your answer correct to three significant figures. So that will be the first three. There's a four after the eight, so it's 4180 millimetres cubed. Of course, here... And here you may well have pressed the SD button one more time to get two decimals, which you then put in here to subtract. And if you did that, you could get a slightly different answer here because you've introduced some approximations, but it's all perfectly fine. The marking allows for quite a wide range in the approximations.